Hey, people. Intro here. 3v3 faction war this is. Argus Desert Gate and Chaos Space Marines versus the Ordo Malleus. For the Blue Chaos Fellas, Chosen of Corn is he's chosen the wrong fellow. It's just a plague champion. Starts off with a damage of a time bolt gun. Can get to many weapons, some strong utility and support. Can also repair a very strange looking chosen of pawn. Alongside Lucifer as a chaos sorcerer, offensive and disruptive hero with powerful battlefield manipulation and control. Some Black Legion and rounding off the team. It's the Tenso as a chaos lord, a durable and destructive hero walking through objects can be suppressed with powerful offense and disruption fighting in melee. The um, elite scheme of the Black Legion here. Red team for the Order Malleus. Kingfisher is a demon hunter. A melee spellcaster with strong support and control alongside. Nova sits rocking an Eversaur Assassin. A risk reward melee brawler that explodes on death. And rather than off the team. Arise with a brother captain. A durable hero. Walking through objects that cannot be suppressed with powerful offense. And support fighting in melee. They are on the western resource lane against the Plague Champion. It's a good lane for a Plague Champion, actually. Can do a lot of work with the Bile Spewer. Has the Nurgle Worship. And can get Havocs up, of course. Through the mid. Eversaur Assassin's found some heretics to slay. Sorcerer just consumes one of them. Helping out the Eversaur Assassin. But then Doom bolts the Strike Squad away. Eversaur also runs so they can push through the mid. And cap or rotate the east side and try and get a flank on Kingfisher as... Quad Stormtroopers here. Heretics chasing those guys into the garrison. Chaos Lord getting in a whole bunch of hotshot las guns to the face, but he's not happy about it. He's already used Kill the Weak. There's some Corn Worship. Corn Worship nerfed, of course. Now gives plus 1.75 speed rather than plus 2 speed. Still incredibly good, of course. Demon Hunter doing some work, but runs away. And they get rid of this Chaos Lord. Oh boy, it really, really needs to run, I think. Maybe? Staying in play for some reason on 27 hit points. Oh, because I think he wants to burn down the gens with the Combi Flamer. Needs to get rid of these Stormtroopers first, though, it's really risky. And down goes the Chaos Lord. Was shot by those Stormtroopers inside the garrison. Mid-map authority is chaotic. They also have this Western Contested Power. There's some Nurgle Worship as well. Mark of... Uh, not Mark of Corn. We have Eternal War on those CSM. Chosen of Corn with double CSM. Double CSM also for the Tenso. Heretic did make it out. More CSM for Lucifer with double Heretics, double CSM. Can they revive the Chaos Lord though? Those Stormtroopers getting shot out of the garrison. But they do make it away. Impact grenade going in. And they um, they gave all grenades a minimum range now, I think. Ever saw Assassin looking menacingly at the wall. Zinch worship and Nurgle worship. And more heretics being consumed. So they're not overextending. They're not being super ultra aggressive. They're trying to hold the mid-map point with worship and stuff. And we'll see how it goes. Banishment thrown in by the strike squad. See some in a bad spot, it feels like. Had to run. Interceptors on the field. They adjusted these guys' teleport times to be uh, a bit more like a jump squad kind of thing. So I think they have more of a delay when they teleport. Still just quad stormtroopers, eh? Oh, we got some purgation from Arise. These guys got some big changes. They now have a single incinerator in the squad, which does, you know, way more DPS than the three before it. Adding up to around about the same DPS, I think. And of course, they have the two more fellas with Storm Bolters. Also get this new Purge, I think it's called Purge Soul ability, which seems very interesting. On the east side, Chaos Lord goes down again. Demon Hunter having a grand old time. Has the Emperor's Torch. More energy, more energy regen. And they've got the... Oh, he goes mi minor healing now. Is that always the case? Hmm. That sounds new to me. But honestly, it's, it's an armor that you saw very, very little of. So maybe that's why it was giving a, giving a little push. Now it gives damage resistance and a little bit of healing. A little bit of health regen, I assume is what that means. 
up the west side. Chaos being pushed back. There's the purgation doing their thing. But now they run from the scary raptors. So the purge soul, I believe it lowers speed by 75% and it does percentage based damage over time as long as they channel it. I think if you channel it the, the full amount, it will do 25% of the health bar. So pretty good. Pretty effective way to deal with a single entity such as a enemy hero. Good tool to have against the enemy Chaos Lord, especially since it's not suppression. It's just a speed decrease, but he's on the other side of the map. Some assistance from Lucifer. And big green explosions going on. Ever saw Assassin cannot get revived. That's what the green explosion was. But the captain, not sure, is going to get away. Nope, goes down. Broke a whole bunch of walls while they did it. Can the blue team hit back on this side now? Stormtroopers coming in. Purgation coming in. Raptors jump for a load of suppression. Really good jump there. And there's the purge soul look. They no longer have the um, the purge by fire thing that replaced it. Four four five to four six three. Auto Malleus also got a new model for their generators, as you can see in this update. I'm still in two nine nine two for this replay, by the way. I'm not actually sure if I have. 2910 replays. I think I may have some. People don't always label them when they send them in what version they're on. And 2911 came up out so quickly after 2910. So I'm not sure if I received any in that day or was it two days? Three days, something like that. Very quick turnaround. We have some Crusaders. I believe their frenzy was changed to be an ability you toggle rather than just activate and it will drain your energy kind of thing west side big champions got a plague sword level two great way to counter initiate those interceptors fettered armor and mucus dis discharge as well so he's ready to fight doom bolts flying in as well that was nasty big blob of ranged fire just got doom bolted pretty hard there's the perch by it that's the purge soul. Should be using that on an enemy hero. Especially a melee one that's running around and thwacking your stuff with a plague sword. You obviously want to target the model that has the most health because it's percentage based damage. Which is typically going to be a hero. But terminators of course would be a good target for that. 445 to 398 on the VPs. Gens being bashed, the fancy new gens. Gonna get a full bash here and a decap, I think. Both players coming back out. Any war gear for the Eversaur Assassin? No war gear. Got some rhinos up in tier two. I think they got some damage nerfs, the rhinos. I think. I think it may be the gun on the front. They got some DPS reductions. The Storm Bolter. Nasty combo there from Lucifer. Chains of Torment into a Dark Flames there. Down goes the Plague Champion. The power was decapped. You guys can worship maybe. Give these guys some infiltration help. Looks like they're going to be alright. Looks like they are indeed alright. What's the Tenso up to? Burning things. Also has some blood letters. Haven't made their way to the front yet. Demon Hunter, still with Emperor's Torch. And we do have the Heavy Bolter turret on the Rhino. CSM looking for some melee. Not a good place to be though, fellas. Angry Demon Hunter and the Rhino shooting you. Bloodlet is hanging back. Not a whole lot they could do here. I guess they could teleport in 
on the stormtroopers and get rid of them or try to get rid of them. They'll probably just jump into the rhino though. Meanwhile, red team taking a natural victory point back and a natural power back and pushing up the west side. They have a rhino here too. And there's a Terminator Librarian. Did you get a new model? Oh, you did. Oh, look at that. Got a fancy new sword model as well. 445 to 398. Plague Marines up for the Tenso. Dreadnought up for Lucifer. Plague Marines on the way for Chosen of Corn. Another nasty Doom Bolt into a Noxious Cloud. Very vicious combo there. That was very effective. Can they finish off the Purgation Squad? Looks like they can't. Those Stormtroopers also make it out as we are the Hammer. From the Brother Captain here. Level 1, no war gear. Dreadnought is unupgraded for the moment. And there's some... Um... Oh wait, they were getting Markov Zinch. I guess they cancelled it. It's going to be Markov Zinch for the Dreadnought instead. To go after that Rhino. And Lucifer can support it with warp if it gets into trouble. Demon Hunter down on the east side, but they've grabbed it. Now waiting for the Chaos Lord attack again. They're going to get revived. Maybe Eversaw is making his way to the east side. Vindicare Assassin on the way. Got a cost increase, I think. And some of his upgrades also got cost increases. So some nerfs across the board, I think, for the Vindicare Assassin. There's some more Chaos Fire. Armor of the Inferno also available. Chaos Lord runs away. Second Rhino shows up. There's a bunch of stuff inside of it. You can see it poking out the top there. Here we go. Delivers the Strike Squad and Interceptors and Stormtroopers. What was that explosion? Oh, that was the Plague Marines explosion. I thought the Eversaw was there dying for some reason, but it has revived the Demon Hunter. 384 to 398. Big flank here from Lucifer. There's Frenzied Barrage. Plague Marines also trying to get shots. Oh, Bio Meltdown from the Eversaw. Damaging those friendly interceptors, though. It damages all nearby enemies. Also drains the Eversaw's health while it's active, but he can do so much damage with it. Gives him a bigger death explosion as well if he dies during. Looks like he's going to run away here. Vindicare also runs away. And there's the Emperor's Torch. Marco Zinch coming in this time for the CSM. These guys already have it. And of course we know that the Dreadnought has it. Full Zinchian build then so far for Lucifer. I wish there was a way to... They um, added marks for the heretics. Would be so fun. Maybe tier 3 or something. Sanctuary thrown up by the Terminator Librarian. Melee Psycho Sub Commander. I love these descriptions we have now. 350 to 398. 1 to 1 cap. East side turning blue for Chaos. Lucifer doing a good job supporting both sides at the moment. Nova Sit. Get, I'll get some purifiers up. Making that melee blob they're building way more dangerous. Are they going to get kill zone? The kill zone axe. Eviscerator axe. No sign of it yet. Chaos Lord loves to set things on fire in this game. That armor of the Inferno shot wasn't the best. That let the guy actually burn. But the last one hit. Not sure what this effect is. Is this... Was that Emperor's Torch? It wasn't a new... Psychic Fortress, was it? Bloodlust available. Or rather, active by the Tenso. Global buff from the Chaos Lord buffs his entire army to do more damage on the hit. Was that wiped? Something there. I thought it was Plague Marines that fell over, but it wasn't. It wasn't. I think it was the Tenso CSM wiping. I think they had double CSM, didn't they? It was that fella there, yeah, CSM. Thought maybe it was a Heretic Aspiring Champion, but I'm pretty thought that was a Chaos Space Marine. Plague Champion level 3. Double of Blood Crushers coming out. Late tier 2 for Chosen of Corn. Double Slaughter Pop by the CSM. They're going to tear through these Stormtroopers now. Impact Grenade goes in. Terminator Librarian shows up. Messes them around with Sanctuary. Kicking off on the VP though. Chaos have taken it. 
thanks to Lucifer, has been good and mobile so far. Some damage in on a Dreadnought, so it runs away. Or st st stomps away, I guess. Purifier is already mixing it up. Interceptor's teleporting into retreat path. But I think those Marco Zinc CSM are okay. Can they get this Dreadnought down, maybe? Do they have any help? We have the Neuro Gauntlet for the Eversaw Assassin, so no Eviscerator Axe. They could get a Melter Bomb to help with this Dreadnought. I don't see it being purchased, though. Is that Blood Letters? Is that the Tenso's Blood Letters? It is. And they're going to be a, a pretty rude fight for these Grey Knight fellas here. They massively outnumber the Blood Letters, though. Look at that. Massively outnumber them. Almost wiped them, in fact. Bloody hell. I think the Tenso used one of them to sacrifice to get more Blood Letters up there. Eversaw taking the blue team's natural victory point. Marco Zizia is then pouring Inferno bolts onto those interceptors. That was an awesome push, though, by Nova Sit. And they're still here. Strike Squad is still here, level 3. But um, they're going to need to move, I think, yeah. That's triple Marco Zinc CSM. Eversaur Assass is not done. Using Bio Meltdown and that very dangerous Neuro Gauntlet. And now they run. I'm not sure if they actually killed a model there. Just did a bunch of damage and held them up. And they had that VP. They've swapped natural victory points here. Here's a double blood, blood crushes. Did these guys get any changes? I don't think they did. I could be wrong though. Demonic Machine Cavalry. What an awesome description. Demon Hunter has the Force Rod. Yeah, double blood crushes will mess up an enemy hero. That's like almost 200 heavy melee DPS. Speaking of messing up a hero, Plague Champion having a bad day. Just take a nap there, buddy. About the captain with the hammer getting it done. Does the Plague Champion not twitch on the floor then? I don't know if I've ever noticed that before. Maybe it was a sink kill, made it weird. Held them back by a bit, says Chosen of Corn. Power bashing, grenade launcher heretics doing their best. That's all chaos demands, right? Just do your best, I think. I don't think they're that mental. Sometimes you may explode, but otherwise, just do your best, heretics. We're proud of you. There's Psychic Assailment on the Stormtroopers global ability of the Demon Hunter for some more damage and range. Pretty good when you got plasma guns. Chaos Lord isn't happy about it. Chasing them around with that rumbling combi flamer. And picking off models as you can see. Kicking off through the mid though. Not sure why or how unless they um, purify is silencing those heretics and they couldn't actually do blast while they were silenced there they're going to wreathe themselves in that psychic flame double blood crush is still doing work charging ever saw assassin there and then he runs Nurgle worship helping things out those double blood crushes love it and level 2 chaos dreadnought here what an awesome pick double blood crush has been great so far 291 to 217. Power bashing is going to be completed by the Plague Marines. Heretics are decapping. And they get it. Force Rod couldn't quite get there in time to do the um, retribution, is it called? Yeah. Wish it told me how much damage the retribution does here. Probably tells you on the actual abilities tooltip, which I can't see. Tier 3s. Everyone going or gone aside from Nova Sit. Chaos looking quite strong though. Loving what they got going on through the mid. Lots of variety in their army. Some dangerous anti-infantry anti-infantry CSM. The double blood crushes, the heretics, the dreadnought. And Nova Sit is gonna run into them with some melee infantry. Because why not? Brother Captain helping out. Lots of explosions going on. And a Nurgle Shrine keeping things healed. Is that battle rights? What does that affect? Yes, that's battle rights on the Mantle of Terror. 
Is it lucky I had some white in there that I don't remember seeing before? I don't know. Did the blood crushers die? One of them died. Thanks to the conversion beamer. Was there two conversion beamers? I must have been seeing things. Nova 6 still going. Got some Grey Knight Terminators now for Arise. In there as well. Blood Crusher still going. Gets a good charge, but does eventually go down. Now a Chaos Predator joins the fray with Mark of Corn. More speed, more damage. Emperor's Torch thrown in there. Is it healing those guys or not? I don't see it healing them. Minor healing to allies. Does it give them very, very little health regen or something? I'm not sure. 291 to 54. Double cap for Chaos. And they're looking pretty good still, I think. Can that... Oh, I can't get one more shot. Marcos in CSM will get them to retreat. There we go. Land Red of Phobos on the way. What's going on west side? Blue team capping it back up. Automalia is taking an eastern VP though. Bay Green's on capping duty. That is... Oh, that's level 3 interceptors there. More blood letters on the way for the Tenso. This is the Tenso's tank as well. Doing some good work. Oh, they're all bunched up though. They're taking full... They're all taking hits from the auto cannon. Ever so Sassy comes charging in. Doesn't have a melter bomb though, so goes after some infantry. Tearing through some heretics there. The heck is this? Oh, there's Psychic Fortress, I think. Thrown on the Eversaw by the Demon Hunter, but he needs to run now. 274 to 22. Crusaders, now with their Acolyte leader in there. Gives them some huge buffs, as you can see. And has his own power weapon, which is not bad, eh? Well, boss, where are you going? It seems confused. Dreadnought, I don't think, is going to make it out. Dreadnought goes down. Lucifer. Oh, the sorcerer is here, so they couldn't get out of trouble. Librarian gets a decap and then runs. Order Malleus with 22 VPs with a double cap. And some good armies are not giving up here. Very nice terminators with power melee splash damage halberds. And there's the incinerates. Looks like Touch of Nurgle is on the CSM here. There's a Touch of Nurgle explosion. Battle rights going off as well. Phobos through the mid, tank through the mid, got some plague ruins as well. But yeah, some heavy losses for the chaos. Heavy losses. Nova hit with double um, conversion beamers, I think. No, single conversion beamer. Oh, here's another one. Terminators are extended quite far, but I assume they can teleport away still. Sweeping doom from the Chaos Lord. Yeah, they need some... They could do with some more anti-melee stuff, eh? Sorcerer does have um, robes of torment, but he's on the floor, of course. Can't use it. Surely it's worth rebuying this guy. Lucifer must be saving for something. I'm not sure what, though. They can't get a great unclean one because they have a Phobos. Can't have both. As fun as it would be. Terminators, maybe? They may be saving red for Terminators. 186 to 22. Chosen of Corn trying to recover now with a tank of their own. Indicare taking shots with. Psychic Assailment buff and Turbo Penetrator rounds. Down goes the tank. Level 2 Vindicar Assassin. Grey Knight Dreadnought on the way. CSM will back cap, says Chosen of Corn. These guys. And they kill the Librarian. Yes! 
big win for those fellas. Got a really freaking cool helmet, ain't he? They're trying to murder some storm. They got distracted from capping by murder. I guess they got the decap at least. Plague champion still down. Sorceress. Oh, they're all down. Plague Marines back on the natural 146 to 22. All of your heroes being down is obviously a big detriment to your ability to fight. Stormtroopers white. A rise down to only two units now though. There's that Grey Knight Dreadnought starts with a heavy incinerator, whatever it's called. Going for multi-melter, awesome. Phobos shows up though. And doesn't shoot it. There we go. Get a bit closer. Conversion Beamer. Double Conversion Beamer. Chaos Terminator is coming in. Are they going to get this Phobos down? Right here, right now. I think they are, you know. Yep. Conversion Beamer gets it done. They did kill one of the Purgation. They may get this Dreadnought down as well. Terminator is going for some melee. Yep, they got the Power Fists. Good special though there. They get it down. Purifies running on through. Soaking up huge amounts of damage level 4. Using their wreath by flame thing. What are they up? Oh, they stayed in way too long. I think they're going to wipe. They do indeed wipe. There's Incinerate again from the Terminator. It's 116 to 22. This game is really close. We now have Lightning Claw Chaos Terminators. These guys got, I guess it was a bug fix where they only had minor melee resistance with their claws before. Now they have full melee resistance. And they're going mental on the Brother Captain. Falls over dead. Well, he's, he's, he's not doing well. Double Chaos Predators getting Mark of Corn for Chosen of Corn. Grey Knight Terminators. Not, not Grey Knight Terminators. Chaos Terminators fighting the Crusaders. They did some good work, eh? Is that Battle Frenzy? Oh, that must be Battle Frenzy that they're, that they're doing. Unless that is um, Psychic Fortress. Yeah, I kind of think that was Psychic Fortress. It's a different effect than it used to have. I don't think battle. I think battle frenzy just gives them the red marker, like a like an orc frenzying. I think ninety-four to nineteen. The uh, visual effects seem to always change for them, Alias. Every every major update. Purgation goes down. Vortima shows up. Two tanks here, though. And he doesn't survive. This tank badly needs repairs. Heretics are right there. The blue team looking to shut this out. Did they go east or did they go through the mid? Bits of both, it seems. These guys go east. That is a... Oh, I thought that was some... Um, I thought that was a paladin calling or something from Arise. They do have some paladins right here already. 85 to 15. Not sure what Lucifer, Lucifer said there. Plague Green's capping duty. Very, very close. Kingfish has got a Vortima Razor back on the way. The Tenso's Terminator is making their way to the Eastern VP. Interceptor showing up. Level 4 Interceptors. 22, 62 hit points. Terminators and Paladins here as well. Do they have the Holy Grounds? They have an Incinerator. And these guys have a Psy Cannon. Lucifer down to double CSM. But the Sorcerer is up with Tome of Subjugation now. And the Plague Champion is up, leveling to four, repairing stuff. Chaos Lord, though, still down. And he would be handy because Sweeping Doom stuns things as well. Cat I Charge, says Chosen of Corn. Brother Captain takes out the Sorcerer with his armor. Just thonking him on the head. There's a special. Attack animations seem a little bit more weighty when he's got the hammer in hand. Which I quite like. More purgation on the way for Arise. They do have two tanks to deal with, I suppose. 
using them defensively at the moment, which is not a bad way to use your tanks. Keep them ready to back off, you know. Kingfisher gets more Crusaders. Very, very rare to see double Crusaders on the field from the same player. These, is this the new squad? No, this is the original level 4 Crusaders. 2709 hit points on those fellas. 48 to 15. Have the Order Malleus lock this in now. I don't know, says Lucifer. Tenso says, wait for me, tank. Another tank on the way for Lucifer as well. That's a, that's a lot of tanks, eh? They have one more push, apparently. Our two heroes down as well. Can the play champion get to this guy? Doesn't look like they're going to try right now. That plague sword is still super dangerous, especially if they can get a zombie of something powerful. Here's the push, 20 to 15. Terminator is using their teleport offensively to try and get a decap here. We have side cannons on the purgation now. There's the battle frenzy going on those double crusaders. Looks like a bio meltdown ever saws in there. Heavily damaging a bunch of allied units actually. But also heavily damaging the enemies of course. There's a mark of corn CSM I think is quite Nova Sits army is gone. Orbital bombardment going in. Oh and an Imperial Abyss from Chosen of Corn. Green flavoured for Nurgle. Maybe it's Apple. Did it wipe out all the purgation? Not quite. Hell of a push though. Chaos Terminator somehow survived that. Oh, another orbital coming in though. CSM get caught in it. Terminator is caught in it, and those guys can't retreat, so that might be a might be a dead Terminator there. Razorback. No, that was a Baltimore, was it? Went down. Did the Terminators wipe? They did. Look at this game now. There's like six units on the field all of a sudden. Huge destruction. Very nice. Terminator is going for the VP. Noxious Cloud is dropped on them. Tank also getting shots. And a single Marco Zinc CSM. Cedric over here getting shots in. 11 to 15. What a finish. Single cap for red. What is going on over here? There's Psychic Fortress on the Brother Captain. Draining energy from nearby enemies and silencing them. No, it doesn't. It doesn't silence them. It slows them down. Slow down and energy regen or degen. Automatically, get it with a single cap at the end, but as incredibly close. Awesome game. Those Grey Knight Terminators. Look at that. With a decap and almost a cap at the end as well. I wonder if that, if one more shot would have killed them there. Let's look at these heroes, eh? Level 5 Plague Champion. Level 5 Chaos Sorcerer. And a level 4 Chaos Lord. Over on the Red Order Malleus. Level 9 Demon Hunter with Banishing Cloak. Rites of Exorcism. I'm sure it did a ton of work that I didn't see. Looks like he respawned in an awkward spot there. I think he can get out. Level 10 Eversaur Assassin. Murdering everything indiscriminately with the Bio Meltdown. But maybe it did enough. And a level 9 brother captain too. Alive in there somewhere. There you have it guys. Thank you all for watching. Big thanks to the Tenso. And these guys for playing a faction war. The Tenso that typically gets these things going and sends me the replays. Awesome stuff. It was a really fun one. And I'll see you guys next time.